Miles Town. Uh, when is it coming out? No, how did it come about for you? Uh, it was actually an idea that I was throwing at Fab Five when we were in Rome, Italy in 79, when I had my first show, you know, international show. And I was like, yo, man, I want to make a film about what I've been doing for the last, you know, seven years, so. And I wanted to write a book then. I'm glad I didn't, but now, you know, it's on now. But, um, and, he, you know, Fab was always, like, in the right place. He's just like in the right place at the right time. He knows how to facilitate, facilitate things, you know, and get them going. And him and Charlie were hanging out on the scene back then. It was like a whole mixture of all these comrades, as I call it, you know. So New York was like that. It was real tight. It's nothing, you know, it's way removed from what, what's happening now. But, you know, Charlie was like just starting out making short films in my neighborhood. So he got a hold of my name to a lot of cats. Like, you know, check out this guy Lee. Saw my pieces. He was like, "Yo, who is this guy?" Lee? So it was like a little folklore thing happening. Around. So it turned out that you know when he came up with the Wild Style concept, Drew Fat Five Freddy, and um, you know based loosely on my life, they wanted to get me for authenticity, and I, I was a reluctant to do it for a number of reasons. And uh, you know the script was very much improvised, and I realized at the same time that everything was improvised. You know. Nobody was acting because everything was happening. Yeah. That's it. Huh? So it was cool, you know. I mean, I, I, I gave into it later on, but like for a while they were like casting like real actors, like people that like, you know, done it for a few years or maybe more. And I was like, I, mean, I don't want to do it. I don't want to like showcase like the way I do my training. It's very sacred to me, you know. Yeah. It still is. I still don't tell cats like the way I did shit, you know. Um, mm. But, um, I was like, no, I don't want to exploit it the way I think it is, you know. And and then I gave in. I was like, you know, I'm gonna work with this. And I think I remember telling Charlie loosely, like, yeah, I'm gonna work with this, but I, you know, I want to be in 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 some kind of like creative. I want to I want to have some input on like how this this whole thing develops around the train yards. Of course, the train yard scene. I'm not even in that scene at all. I was like, I ain't going to set. You know, like, but you, you know, you're, th you're in the scene. I'm like, no, I'm not gone. Get an extra. I'm not gone. I don't even know how I pulled that one off. Wow. <laughs> I was like, I ain't filming in front of no damn camera in the train yards. Fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> so Charlie, man, bless him. My man was like, he held ground, man. And, and, and then, plus, I was real sick to my, you know, I was sick as a dog. And they were like, we'll get an ambulance. We'll send you to the yard. And I'm like, no, I don't want to go. Get some money extra. So that's where Donnie comes in. Wow, man. So. It was pulling teeth with me for a while, you know. But, um, you know, the film is a classic, you know. It just turned into a cult classic because it just grabs so many, maybe I would say, unfocused energies around the world and made people really like find their niche, you know. Be it DJs, actors, playwrights, or whatever, poets, dancers, painters. So it's a real general thing, kind of like it opened doors and it kind of like confirmed the door was there in the first place for many young cats. Sort of like the way I felt when I saw the trains you know, traveling my mom. Everything happens for a reason. My father never drove a car, never had a car in the family, so my moms and me always had to like hustle on the subways. So yeah. there it is, 1972, I'm watching pieces saying, what the fuck is that about? You know, why is that happening? Why is it there? Mm. So, you know, me being so curious, George, as they call me, you know, <laughs> I just, um, you know, I made it my, I made it my goal to like, yeah, I want to find out how this is being done, and I'm really excited about it, you know. So I can identify with kids, young people, I would say, you know, seeing the, uh, the emotional outcry that it has, and uh, you know, it's cool. I'm just hoping that the new generation is uh, gets something worthwhile that not only they will like kind of lavish in and marinate in, but that other people above, you know, way, way out there in the horizon will we'll get something out. It's all yeah. about, like, what you leave behind. You yeah. Know what I'm That's hot, man.